actually coordinated having a group of people this come on the from my church. Now, testimony. Now, I've been on several of these trips previously. And I've seen the Holy Spirit of God do amazing, miraculous things. I've seen the I've, I have seen the blind see, the deaf hear, the And so here I was in the middle of Brazil on another one. And I brought a lot of people with me. And each day of ministry, each day we were there, there was ministry in different places and different churches. And the people that I brought with me were seeing some amazing things. I mean, they were seeing blind eyes open, deaf ears open, lame walking. One guy was, one guy saw angels with his own eyes. Crazy stuff, I know. But God does that kind of stuff. If it's in the Bible, it's available for us to experience. That's what I believe. Yeah, Otherwise, it wouldn't be there. And nowhere in the Bible does it say that all the stuff that happened to him stopped when the Bible was written. There's no scripture that says that. Anyway, I'll preach on that. I gotta keep my messages separate. Unless we all want to be here for the next 20 hours. <laughs> I'm okay with that. Uh, uh, all right. <laughs> so here I am in the middle of Brazil. Now, towards the end of this trip was going to be my birthday. We showed me and I and I have been praying to the Lord to experience something new on my birthday. And I even had a mental list. I even had a list in my mind. I wanted to see the dead raised. I wanted to be translated from one place to the other like Philip. I wanted to see angels with my own eyes. Or could I walk on water? Because everything else I've seen, I've seen the blind, see the deaf. So I just wanted something new. And I know God's my father, so I just thought I'd You know, you have not, for you ask not. So at least I wanted to ask. Now, during the course of this trip, now, I started getting frustrated and angry. Because I was seeing nothing when I was praying for people. Everybody else is casting out demons, healing the sick. I got nothing. I mean, I, I was just saying nothing. Nothing was happening. And it really started to hurt my heart. Because in a way I thought, God, don't you love me? Because I've done everything right. I've prayed the right way. 
You know, I've dressed the right way. I've this is still Utah's testimony. You know, By the I've time I was in Mozambique. Do you love me? Do you put my pen? And so we got to my birthday, and I was expecting the Lord to do something. And so I was excited all day. And it was morning, then it went to the afternoon, then it was the evening. And the next thing I knew, it was one o'clock in the morning, and I was in a pool with bats flying overhead. Bats. Bats. Ah, okay. Nothing happened on my birthday. And, and it, it just hurt. It hurt. It hurt my heart back. So the next day was the last day of ministry. And I was sitting on my bed with my pastor across. And I was just like, I just want to go home. I paid $3,000 for this trip and nothing has happened. I was waiting for the money. I just was not in a good place to be ministering that. And so, but we had one more place to go. And so we walked out of the hotel and we walked about three blocks down the street to the <laughs> And as we walked into the church, I remember noting that the worship team had a lot of anointing on them. Now, I don't know much Portuguese because that's the language of Brazil. But it was good worship. And so they did the first song of the service started. They did the first song and the second song. And I remember when they started the third song, I was right over here. And then all of a sudden God showed up. The presence of God filled the church. And I remember it took a couple moments. I, I fell to the ground on my knees and then I was facing And the reason I was weeping is because the love of the Father came down. And it was like the Father was saying, Peter, I love you. You don't have to try so hard to earn my love. You don't have to pray a certain way, dress a certain way. None of that matters to me. I just love you. Amen. It's that simple. I love you. And so the Holy Spirit was coming over me. And I'm just crying. All the frustration, the anger, the neglect. All the rejection left. And my heart that had been hard was made soft. And when I, after about 10 minutes, I finally got up off the floor. And I was a new man. That moment changed my life forever. And the funny thing was, on the complete other side of the church, my pastor was having a exact same experience.